Well, holy smokers, guys, we got some big profits that we are gonna go ahead and talk about here today. By the way, if you're new here, I am Jeremy. This is a financial education channel. I hope you guys are doing great out there. I wanna go ahead and talk about this specific stock, how this stock came to me, and exactly how we really made so much on this particular stock, because I think a lot of people wonder, you find a stock that makes you a lot of money, how did it actually happen? How did you come across that stock? What process did you go through and whatnot? And if you're wondering what stock it is, it's good old Elf on a Shelf, okay? Elf Beauty, which is a cosmetics company, we have already booked, this is booked profits of $9,527.90 in our public account, which in that particular account, everything's documented, every single trade's documented, buys, sells, everything, by the way, if you're interested in being part of that group, it's linked down there in the description. And so that's booked profits, but then we also have unrealized profits of $12,254 in that particular account, meaning that basically we could sell those shares if we want it tomorrow and that would bring our profit up to somewhere around $22,000 somewhere around there roughly. So needless to say it's been a very successful stock and the craziest thing about this stock is it's a stock that we've held for I don't know maybe four or five months. It's not like it's been a long-term hold. The gains we have gotten in that stock have been absolutely insane okay especially if you're looking at a percentage basis. Many of our shares we've either sold or we still have are up you know 100 plus percent 80 percent somewhere around there like the gains have been insane. Insane, okay, so let me go ahead and talk about this. I think a lot of people when they see an insane gain they like that They're like oh my gosh, is that just luck? Is that inside information? He must be getting some inside information Well, let me just tell you if it was about inside information like what the hell happened with GoPro? Okay, you better know I'm not getting any inside information. Okay, so how this elf situation happened is basically my wife I noticed she was buying some cosmetics products This was probably like three years ago or so and she was buying a whole bunch of this one specific brand I'd never seen this brand in my life. It was called elf cosmetics and their packaging was pretty cool she's like yeah it's really good quality products and they're for extremely cheap prices if I recall she was buying them at Target at that particular time and they had just gotten in Target very recently if I recall once again this is probably like three years ago maybe a little longer than three years ago okay and then very shortly after basically the company goes public okay probably within a month or two months after the company actually goes public and the CEO goes on CNBC and he talks about the company I know we love to dog on CNBC a lot, but I, uh, to be honest, although a lot of times I don't value their opinions very much, they do have a lot of great CEOs on from time to time who speak and give their opinions on their companies or the economy and things like that. So I know we like to make fun of CNBC sometimes, but honestly, CNBC can be valuable from a perspective of hearing CEOs talk about their companies, talk about the economy and things like that, guys. Um, you know, if you're listening to them just for their opinions on stocks, you know, it is what it is, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Let's just put it that way. Okay. But the company goes public and um, I'm kind of interested in this and my wife actually knew about it as well and she's like should I buy the stock and so I went ahead and I actually did a full research on the company at that particular time I looked at their IPO prospectus I researched like what type of retailers they were in and all those sorts of things okay so I look into the company and I really like the business model of the company I like the business overall but in the stock market there's there's two things that matter one is the business the underlying business of that stock one is the valuation of that stock when those two things are great you know, it's an undervalued company it's a great business that's when magic happens that was not the situation when elf went public this was like a $20 stock I think it had a valuation of around a billion dollars a little more than a billion dollars the price to sales ratio was extremely high the PE ratio was extremely high the valuation did not match okay so I ended up not ever buying the stock I just felt like it was overvalued like the business didn't like the stock overall okay so what do I go ahead and do I go ahead and I added the stock to my stock tracker app and a lot of times and this is why I track like 80 to 90 90 stocks on my stock tracker app even though I might own like 10 stocks at a particular time I still track another 80 90 stocks and the reason is there's always businesses I'm looking into that I'm like I like that business a lot oh my gosh that business over there is a great business but the valuation on that business does not make sense, so therefore I will not buy it. You know, stock market in general, it's all a game of patience. It's all a game of waiting for the right time to go ahead and buy a stock if that opportunity ever presents itself, okay? So I go ahead, I add the stock to my stock tracker app. It's been on there for years now, okay, years. I've probably gone through two different phones and three different iPads in that amount of time, okay? And uh, basically, I watched this stock go from around 20 bucks where it IPO'd somewhere around there roughly 
to a win to over $30. And I was thinking, dang, man, I guess my wife should have bought in that IPO because the stock went up quite a bit from its IPO price, okay? And then over time, I watched the stock continue to crash, okay? Early 2019, I see the stock, it's trading under $15 a share, okay? It dropped over 50%, like well over 50% from its highs it had reached like a year or two previous, okay? So I decide, okay, this stock has fallen so much. I gotta find out what's going on with this company. I need to do a deep dive into this company. It has fallen so much that maybe now I'm gonna be able to find a diamond and a rough with this stock. And this is what I do with a ton of stocks. I'll, I'll add them in the past. I'm like, I love that business. Don't like the valuation. It comes down huge over time because either the stock got way overvalued or something happened in the market or something happened in that particular stock. So I do a deep dive on this elf company. I look at his 10K, I look at his 10Q, I listen to conference calls. I get completely caught up with the business. And what do I find? I find a company that I absolutely still love just as much as ever. And I find a company that is starting to do some very successful things in the social media landscape with big name YouTubers in the makeup industry and things like that. And I'm loving what I find, okay? So I love the business and now the stock has fallen so much that I actually love the valuation, okay? And so what I go ahead and do is I start buying the stock somewhere around roughly $10 per share, okay? And uh, meantime, the stock goes down more and more right after I buy those initial shares. And this is why I don't go all in on a share right off the bat or something like that or invest super heavy. This is why I buy usually in two to $5,000 chunks at a time when I first start buying a company because a lot of times it's gonna go lower, okay? The stock was an absolute falling knife and it continued to fall. So I start my initial position somewhere around 10 roughly. Uh, I start buying into the stock. Next thing you know, the stock's in the seven to $8 range. And that's when I actually start loading the boat, I like to call it, where I start buying in $5,000 at a time, $10,000 at a time, $15,000 at a time in different accounts because I'm looking at this stock and I'm like, it's gotten to a place where the valuation is ridiculous. The entire company was trading at a market cap of like 300 million to 400 million dollars. And for this brand, and the focus I was starting to see from the management team as far as expanding into social media landscape and things like that, I was like 300 to 400 million is ridiculous for this company. I am literally stealing this company from the public markets, okay? So I absolutely start loading the boat and uh, the majority, by far and away, majority of the shares I got were in the seven eight dollar range so needless to say i was feeling pretty good about my position meanwhile jeffree star who's one of the most popular like youtubers when it comes to the makeup industry was doing videos about elf and these videos were getting five to ten million views and when you're talking about someone that influential and is getting that many views you're gonna talk about a lot of increased sales, a lot of super positive things about the brand because Jeffree Star was putting out these unbelievably positive videos about Elf and you start putting all these pieces together and it's almost like a perfect storm for a stock to go up in a ridiculous amount of time, okay? Now I wasn't personally counting on the stock to go up this much this fast, okay? If I knew it was gonna go up this much this fast, I would've put every dollar I have in it, obviously. There wouldn't have been an intelligent decision from a, a diversification standpoint or something like that, but but if I knew 100% for sure it was gonna happen like that, like obviously I would've went crazy with the stock, right? And who knows if that would've ever happened. But needless to say, everything was going kind of perfect for the situation, and the stock basically goes from a $7 stock to it's over 2 x in a matter of four or five months, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, the stock trade, it trades today well over $15 a share. Market cap on it's around, I think somewhere around 800 million now or approaching 800 million. When I was buying in the stock just a few months ago, the market cap was trading in the 300 million to 400 million range. So the stock has gone absolutely parabolic. And I think the moral of the story for this particular stock and what happens with a lot of stocks for me in the market is it's all about timing. The stock market in general is all about timing. There's probably 500, 500 stocks that I fully understand their business models and I love their business models and I believe they'll expand in the future. Okay, but there's a select amount of stocks, like 10 to 15 stocks maybe at a particular time, that I can say I love the business, I understand the business perfectly, and the valuation matches. So I absolutely love that business and let me go ahead and own that stock. This is a very rare situation. So the stock market's all about patience. It's all about playing the right hand, okay? For my poker players out there, right? You could technically play every hand you get when it comes to cards, right? It doesn't matter what cards you got. Oh, I got a two seven offsuit. Let me go ahead and play that. Not really the smartest idea, right? You wanna wait till you got ace king. You wanna wait till you got, you know, king queen suited or something like that. You wanna wait 
wait till you get the right cards to start playing a hand. And when you get the right hand and you got the best hand, you're gonna go ahead and throw a lot of your chips into that pot. And that's exactly what we did with Elf. We waited for years on the stock. Literally, we waited for years on the stock. We tracked it for all that time. And then we got our opportunity and we've already booked profits of nearly $10,000. We have unrealized gains of 12,000 plus just in the public account alone. And so needless to say, we're gonna have made you know a car, basically a nice car on the elf position. All because we put in work several times, all because we didn't get impatient with the company, we waited for the right time. And when we got the right opportunity, we went ahead and dove in. And that's honestly the name of the stock market, honestly. It's all a game of patience. It's all a game of just knowing when's the right time to take that risk because any stock you buy in the market, it's a risk. I don't care if you're buying Apple stock, I don't care if you're buying Google stock, Facebook, Amazon, the biggest of the biggest companies, or a small little company like elf. They're all taking a risk. They could all go down the short term or long term. It's all about picking the right opportunity when you say, okay, I understand this business well. I know it inside and out. The valuation on the stock is way undervalued. Let me go ahead and push some chips into this stock and let me go ahead and start buying it. And uh, let me take advantage of this for the longer term opportunity. Obviously, Elf, it's gone up so much in the short term that we started selling some shares. Um, if it continues to go up huge like it is, we'll probably continue to sell the rest. And that wasn't the plan going in. It was a stock I might've held for you know years, but when it goes up this much this fast and the valuation over doubles as far as the market cap and things like that, it starts to get to a place where, okay, now it's starting to reach fair value on not as interested in it when I might have some other stocks going on now that are the next elf. So that's the name of the game in the stock market. And um, when you get a stock like that, I mean, it, it can be addicting. Don't expect all stocks to be like that because it's so unrealistic. And when I get a stock like this, I just have to remember they're not all like this, okay? If I can get 20% a year from a stock, that's amazing. The fact that this stock, many of our shares are up 100 plus percent in a few months time, it's super unrealistic. It was just the perfect storm for this stock and we've gotten to take full advantage of this guy. So I hope you really enjoyed this story today. Make sure you smash the thumbs up if you did and make sure you share this with somebody who might be interested in getting involved in the stock market, okay? And let me know in the comment section if you guys have ever experienced something like, a, like an unbelievable gain in a particular stock. I would love to hear from you guys down there in that comment section about your stories. Thank you for watching and have a great day.